Hello everyone. A lot of people ask me for a recipe for my smell that I fished the other day. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, I'll put the link. Uh, it's probably going to be here or here, I don't know, depending on the flip side of the camera or whatever. Um, so I got them out of the freezer. One of the things you have to make sure when you catch smelt is that you put them right away on ice or in the snow. Uh, for some reason, people say they taste better. I don't know. I, to me, it all tastes the same thing. Uh, now, they were frozen in the freezer. I put them out here. I put them in a little bit warm, but not too warm water because you don't want them to, you know, to unfreeze too fast. Um, now they're almost at a point where I can start cleaning them up. For those of you wondering, you clean them up just like you would clean a trout. Uh, you cut the head off, uh, you, you gut them and you know, you, you rinse in the inside as much as you can. I'm gonna do one and then show you how I cook them. So all you need really is a good pair of scissors. And if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff, I suggest that you fast forward until I start cooking because I'm gonna gut those fish and I don't want you to, you know, be grossed out by it. So this is one of the big one. I'll do this one so that you, you can see a little bit better. This is where you wanna go. And this, that's just the way I do it. You could also just come here and cut the head off, but by doing it this way, I go right at, behind those things here and I just cut it so the head is gone. And there's a little hole here. I simply put the end of the scissors here and uh, I cut it up. It's still a little tiny bit frozen, so it's a little bit harder, but it's not that bad. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go in front of a garbage bin and I'm gonna remove all that stuff here. And I'll be right back. So it's very easy to remove. I just picked the whole thing removed it. I'll put some cool but not too cold water either and you just go and you make sure there's nothing left in there and that's it. You take this and you put it aside and then I'll do a little bit more and talk to you in a few minutes. It took me between 10 and 15 minutes to do the 25 fish I have there. So there is some sort of powder, spice, I guess, uh, I'm not sure how to call it, that exists out there, especially, specifically designed for fish. You could use that if you wanted to. Uh, I don't have that. I had some, I just checked, I couldn't find it. So uh, either it was too old and we threw it away or, I don't know, uh, spring cleaning last year got mistaken for something else and it's now in the garbage. But what the, the main thing I use most of the time for smelt is I simply put flour and I'll put a little bit of pepper in there. I'll put that in a little bowl like this, just so it's easier to mix the pepper and um, the flour, but I don't put that much pepper, but it's uh, all up to you really. If you want to put more, you put more. So this is on at uh, medium, let's say. I'm gonna, just gonna soak the fish in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil if I can find some, or if I don't, I'll put some vegetable oil, just to give it a little uh, crispy texture, I guess. So I can find any olive oil. So I'm gonna use this. I'm not gonna put too much. I mean, so I'm going to put the fish in the flour here, just soak it up, put it in the pan. Oops.
usually doesn't take very long to cook them. Um, once you start seeing the inside flesh uh, turning crispy or light brown, you know that it's ready. Maybe four or five minutes is probably all it's gonna take. I'm gonna flip them over, cook them on the other side, and then they should be ready. And this is pretty good with uh, mashed potatoes, and fiddleheads if you have any laying around. If you have homemade bread, that would be delicious. I don't think we have any, any of those things on hand right now, so I'm probably just gonna eat it with uh, store-bought bread. But it will be delicious nonetheless. So I don't know if you can see this one here. Um, starting to become crispy. I'll flip it over. Yeah, it's a brownish color, so it should be good on that side. Small fish, of course, will cook faster than the big ones. So like this one here, I might have to flip it around a couple more times just to make sure. So my girlfriend's in bed. It's not breakfast, it's actually supper time. But she's had a hard day and I wanna give her a little surprise. You're welcome. When it's cooked properly, you can debone it just by removing the meat. And this is the kind of bone you have. It's so soft. I mean, you can't really choke on them. Mm, so good. With bread. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked this episode. If you did, share, like, subscribe if it's not already done. And I'll see you next time. And by the way, today... We are Sunday. I'm filming this on Sunday, which is first day of spring. We've had somewhat of a storm today, <laughs> of course, but it's also Shedwar start day. So uh, as of today, everything I grow, everything I harvest uh, goes towards Shedwars. All right. See you next time. Bye.